Hello and welcome to the piston video of this engine. Um, you've seen the crankshaft portion, the head portion, um, and now that uh, piston portion that I promised. Um, of course you got a sleeved engine here, aluminum block, steel sleeves, typical how they go. Um, and of course the cooling jacket's in here. The, you can make these either the in or out. I put the in here and it just exits out the front. Um, I like it a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. Um, but your pistons. They're actually really, really well designed. In fact, compared to all of my other engines, these are over-engineered. Um, to start with, you can see this copper type bearing here. I'll just carefully rotate it for the oil inlet into the crankshaft. You can see some oil pushing out. Um, so they ride on dedicated bearings. That's really cool. I love that because um, most engines, they just place either the, the connecting rod right onto the crankshaft or they just have some simple basic bearing that they write on, which is fine, at least it's got a bearing, but this has an actual dedicated bearing to it, and I love it. Um, <coughs> your piston is this nice big beefy guy right here. Um, it is a three ring setup. It has two compression rings and an oil control ring, and you can see that down there with its mini holes. Um, they actually really engineered this really well. Um, let me zoom in here and you can see it better. There we go. You can see they gave it its own little groove so excess oil will seep out or seep into here and get scraped down by that ring. Um, so I have high hopes that this thing will retain compression even after a, a high RPM run right there. Um, there is no front marking on these connecting rods. So when you're putting it back together most of them have a, <clears throat> this one might be gone. Most of them have a Sharpie mark on it. Um, when you have your Sharpie mark on there, I just recommend getting a Dremel and just bzz, down the side of it so you know which side is the correct way. Um, you want the Sharpie mark to face towards the, sorry, I forgot I'm zoomed in. You want the oil, the Sharpie mark to face towards the oil um, nozzle right here and you'll be in the correct orientation. When you put your piston back in. You don't need a piston ring compressor. You can just use your nails. Um, it'll just pop right back in. Um, just follow your typical means for engine assembly. You're staggering your rings 180 from each other. You don't really need to do that. You just don't want these little spaces to be lined up with each other or you just won't have compression. Um, so 180 out or however you want, so long as those lines aren't matching up, because the moment you start your engine, those rings are going to start walking anyways, um, so it really doesn't quite matter. Um, I learned that through um, Vice Grip Garage, actually, when he was rebuilding his straight six Ford engine, so um, learn something new. This is your piston assembly. It's super easy to put these back together, just make sure they're nice and tight, um, and that these two holes match up with each other or you'll starve that um, connecting rod of oil. Um, but other than that, that's your pistons right there. Really well engineered. I love it.